everyone, Wanderbot here, and oh god, I just realized this guy had a crotch bulge. Um, well, art team, you didn't fail me, but, um, I, why did I notice that? I don't know. Anyway, welcome back to Card City Knights. Let's go defeat the extremely, uh, wonderful, mustachioed, dazzling man, dazzling man. There we go. He needs, like, a superhero outfit, if anything. Oh, well. Let's talk to him. Please do not be dazzled by my magnificent mustache. And battle time, I guess. It's about time! Yay! I I can't get over just how nice it is to not have to worry about gabbing constantly before battle. So let's bring out the bunny deck. I switched things around just a little bit, so you'll be seeing... I think it's Eosa? Oh, I should have paired in the card that you're supposed to match with Eosa. Anyway, let's just lead in with Jenny Fox, I guess. Now... I believe I have slightly more cards than he does, which is awesome. Now we've got Yosa, who, of course, you have to drop in that corner, and can be... I mean, as long as you're using him within an attack combo, he's never removed from play, so I can just keep using him over and over and over again, which is amazing. Anyway, so he's got Bear Miner, cannot be removed, plus one attack damage. Oh, interesting. And Mama and Son DX. So these are the cleaning crew, quite obviously. Cannot be targeted by an opponent. Attack combo, this card is not removed from play. So it's actually almost exactly like Yosa, just has better exit ports. And can't be targeted. Whereas this one just can't be disabled. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna disable the Bear Miner, turning Mama and Son DX pretty useless. Because if I can trap this card up top, we're golden pretty much right from the get-go, which would be uh, honestly amazing. So we've got Yosa in the corner. I could lay down Brutus or Jenny Bun. I don't have anything good that pairs with anybody, really. So I'm gonna... Hmm. So I don't want to just lay down a half-baked combo, because I'd like to save Gate, Titan, whatever, unless I actually need them. So I'm gonna lay down Jenny Bun in the corner, because worse comes to worse. There are other cards that I can pair with her. So we've got a Kamen Rider, Titan, and Gate. Which suddenly makes me, you know, seriously regret laying down Jenny Bun where I tossed her, because I could get a defensive combo right from the beginning. But I guess we're pretty full on health, so it's not necessary. It still does raise the question of what do I do with my cards in this point. And uh, I mean, he's already blocked himself off from Mama and Son DX, so with any luck, I won't have to worry about that. It's just the question of what do I do with everything else? And the answer is, I don't know. So I'm going to lay down Cowman Rider, because worst comes to worst, we pair it with Titan, that brings us up to 10 full, and our board is clear. So we've got Haja, who, now that I've got Yosa out, Haja actually seems like a really useless card, because pretty much anywhere that I'd normally be putting Haja is where I'd be putting uh, Yosa, which is kind of frustrating, and I guess I'll just have to deal with it. And let's see, what do we got? We got largely nothing. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put Brutus down here just because I have very few cards of the point up. Speaking of, so we've got... Okay, uh, this will work. I'm going to use the Fire Sword. And I'm going to use... Oh. Um, no, that's not going to work. Damn. Well, I'm going to use Haja, and... Oh, shit. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was pair these three off, but I forgot that they had wrong exit ports. So now I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. I, luckily, this is a best three out of five, and my neighbors are running their garbage disposal constantly. This is frustrating. But... You know what? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so I'm loath to do this, but I'm gonna get rid of Fire Sword. And so we've got another Haja, but we don't have anything good to pair with this Haja or Brutus. We've got Mark, Pink Man, and nothing else. Damn, I really screwed the pooch on that one. Uh, not literally. I, I am starting to use that phrase, and it's a terrible phrase to go with. So we're both... Watch us just end up decking ourselves, because that's the only combo we've got. Well, you know what? Yeah, I should not have done what I did, but I did it, so I got to deal with it. So I'm gonna put down. I don't want to put down Mark. I'm just gonna go with the healing potion, clear it out, and hopefully 
kind of mulligan some stuff here. Chili Rogers pointing the wrong way. If we could get a Jenny bun, we'd be golden. But we haven't, or I wasted the Jenny bun, or used it earlier. I guess I used it pretty effectively earlier, taking out the Bear Miner. So at this point, I'm dallying and dithering, but I don't have much to do. So I'm gonna lay down. I, I don't know. I'm gonna lay down Mark. Odd spot for Mark, but I can balls. Um, well, this is an interesting situation. So I got the card I wanted, but turns out this guy actually does do disables, which is frustrating. Luckily, we've got the Chili Roger just sitting around, which is convenient, but frustrating. Oh, perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. So we can revive Haja and finish this combo, block off the DJ, mainly because we don't have anything else we can do. But now we're open to a substantially larger amount of stuff than we were, you know, a couple minutes ago. So we've got a Flip Hero, a Haja, and a Pink Man. What we really need is somebody to pair off with Mark and Pink Man. Unfortunately, I don't have anything like that right now. Because I put Mark in a weird spot thinking, oh, you know, I might be in trouble here. And I'm still kind of in awkward positions all around. So I'm going to lay down... Hmm... I don't want to lay the pink man down unless I have to. I don't want to lay down really any of my other cards unless I really have to. So, what do we got? What do we got that we can do that can save us? You know what? I'll lay down Lena in the corner. Because she's a top corner card. That's like the only thing I can do anyway. So we've got another pink man, another mark. Both are largely useless, and that frustrates me to no end. Because I can't pair Haja with Pinkman at all, or Eosa. The, the fact that I don't have any down-left cards right now, just, it's, it's taunting me. Alright, this is not going as smoothly as I wanted, and I feel like I'm complaining, so let's just drop down a... Pinkman, and hope for the best. Okay, we got a Titan. Not what I was hoping for, but you know what? Clears the board out. And I think we're... We're going to end up winning if only because they're, uh, we have slightly more health than they will by the end of this. Which, not the end of the world, just I... Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to lay down this mark in this corner. And with any luck, we'll actually start getting some useful stuff here. Golden. Alright, so we can actually get rid of this combo here. And he disables that card. Well, whatever. Uh, I guess I'm just going to attack his life points directly. Put him slightly behind. Alright, so we've got Mark to contend with, but I switched in Flip Hero DX for Princess Pitch, which is beautiful, on, on for a number of reasons. So now we've got Brutus, the Stick, and Yosa, so I'm, I'm actually going to go for that combo. He's got the Goddess of Explosions, which is concerning looking, which is why I'm going to disable it. Beautiful. Alright, so now he's disabled Flip Hero DX. I didn't even... I, I guess that makes sense, I just didn't really think that was possible. Well, let's just keep disabling his cards left and right. And then, yep, yeah, he's out of cards, so he's just going to start taking damage. So we've got a little bit more left, but I feel like at this point I'm pretty safe. I don't have any more revival cards, which is scary, but chances are he's not going to be able to do much to me. So I'm just going to lay down... Hmm. Uh, oh, hey, I can lay down Fire Sword. And then I can lay down Pink Man. And then I'll uh, attack his life points directly so he dies. Yay! Okay, that's that's round one, and now we know what to be wary of. Because he actually uses Disables, so I'm not going to just pell-mell waste my he health potion. Because that's probably going to be the thing that saves us. Maybe not this run, but it's definitely going to save us somewhere down the line. And I'm going to be very thankful for it. So right off the bat, we got Fire Sword, Mark, and... Jenny Bun and Flip here, none of which work particularly well together. I'd love to get a Pink Man right now, because Pink Man would uh, wrap off the combo pretty effectively, and it doesn't. We did get we did get a drone, which also doesn't really work for us right now, which kind of sucks. Um, so I'm gonna just lay down a stick in the corner, because worst comes to worst, we just get a crazy offensive combo. All right, crazy offensive combo go. So I could disable Father Russia. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. 
and I'm I'm just going to go the usual disable everything under the moon route because that seems like the most effective way of dealing with any of our problems right now. So I'm going to lay down the drone in the corner, not because I have any combos in mind, but it's because it's like the only thing that makes sense right now. So we've got we could pair flip hero with them, but I'm I'm not keen on that ever because flip hero is useful. Oh, but I can use the Jenny bun, which is useful. For a lot of things, especially right now, because he's got the double skull king in a perfect place to be disabled. Beautiful. Alright, so our board is clear, let's lay down Jenny Fox. Okay, we got another pink man, so all we have to do is find one thing to pair with him. I guess I could do Jenny Bun, Jenny Fox, and Pink Man. Eh, that works. Though, I mean, he could disable me, and that would be ultimately frustrating. And I'm gonna save Ultra Fish Bun for later. So I'm just going to disable DJ, because Bear Miner is useless until he revives another one of his cards. So now is a good time to break out Fish Bun. I'm going to just plop him in the middle, even though, again, loath to do that. I guess we'll just pair off Cowman Rider, because we don't got anything better to do. And Straight Bart, Straight Bart goodbye. So he's got, he's got his own Fish Bun, I didn't even realize. I don't think he used it in the last round, which is confusing, but hey. So... Watch me get, like, Eosa right off the bat, so I'm going to toss her there instead. Yep, there we go. We got an Eosa. Don't have a whole lot of good cards that can pair off with him. To actually scratch that, I do. So, he's got literally nothing. I'm still going to disable Fishbun. And we went. Perfect. That worked a lot smoothly. <laughs> a lot smoothly. A lot smoother than the previous one did, and we've already got a good combo straight off the bat. So I'm going to lay down... Mark, Drone, Pink Man, and he did a defensive combo, which is largely... Oh, balls, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Straight to the life point it go life points it goes. Now, he's probably going to hit me pretty hard with that one, which is not what I would like. But I don't have any good defensive combos right now, so as long as he doesn't do exactly that, I'll be fine. Alright, whatever. We'll just use De Jenny Deer to pr solve the problem. And revive Ultra Fish Bun. I'm glad I didn't get rid of all of those uh, revival cards, because I was like, oh yeah, nobody nobody disables my cards anymore. He disables plenty of my cards, apparently. And that's something I should be concerned about at all times. Why did I do that? Why did... Oh god, um, what have I done? Okay, so I was aiming for this one, but it... Uh, it Card had a mind of its own, and now now we've got kind of an awkward position going. But I think I can still make it work, I just need to... Uh, kind of waggle my way around it. If we can get another pink man, we'd be golden. Because I can't lay down a stick there. So I'm just going to lay down a stick in this corner, and do what I meant to do, originally. But failed. Alright, so we've got a Chili Roger, who's largely useless right now. I'll just drop the Fire Sword in the corner, and really hope we can get... Nope. That's a Jenny Bun. Jenny Bun, why are you not useful to me right now? So I can lay down Gate. Yeah. Gate's probably the only card I can lay down. Great. Another Gate. So... I really, really don't like this right now. Because... I guess that's not a bad spot. But I, I feel like I've backed myself into the worst possible corner, and that's scary. So I'm just going to waste the Jenny Bun Chili Roger, since we have a healing potion sitting around. Okay. Not what I wanted, but you know what? I can make it work. So we've got Eosa. Might as well just get rid of it all and start fresh. Perfect. Exactly who I needed at exactly the right time. So let's drop down that, that, and we could dis disable the straight part. Golden. Perfect. Okay. And we've got this guy. And I'd love to have a card that can pair off with these two. But it doesn't look like we have any. Which, not ideal. But at this point, we're pretty high in health, so I'm going to toss down Jenny Bun. I'm just going to be wasting cards for the sake of off offense at this point. So, with any luck, this will work. Offensive combo. And he's about to lose anyway, so we're just going to disable this guy because he's ugly. And we win. Perfect. Oh, and that was it. I didn't even realize that was all three. Well, we get 
a uh, whatever one of these packs is. Bob came in pieces. We actually get two rare cards. We get Kojo, revive combo, remove all cards, and a bunch of Bob's rocket parts, which is pretty cool, but it means we need to find somebody that has these booster packs so we can farm them because I really want to get a Bob ship combo. Because if you notice, combo together with Bob ship plus two attack damage. Combo together with Bob ship plus one defense game cannot be disabled. So so if you get like just a crazy amount of parts and you tack them all onto this thing, you can like insta gib somebody, which would be really cool, but also would take a lot of planning and strategy. And I get the feeling I get kind of screwed out of things. Oh well. Well, that's it for the Dazzling Man. And wow, look at his face. I I I I such skill, such battle further. I I'm in shock. Ha ha ha. Well then, indeed. Now you are done here, you can run along. Oh, what about the legendary? I well, ahem, of course! Of course, you promised it to the victor. Are you going back on your gentleman's word? Uh, I suppose not. What is with this guy all of a sudden? Here, take the card. Woo! We get another card. This one's actually really good. I might keep my hands on this one. The exit ports are kind of weird, but I could see it being useful in a lot of ways. Can't be targeted by an opponent, which is amazing. But most of all, card is not removed from play. Which means, as long as I can, like... If only I could pair him and Io Osa together, I'd be golden. I'd just be, like, tacking down the same attack combo over and over and over again. But, you know what? Such is fate. Well, I'll come clean, hothead. My mustache has never attracted any stairs. Scarcely a glance, in fact. It was the legendary card that gave me that small amount of fame. I imagined that I could hide my insecurity behind it. Insecurity? But you're the manliest gentleman I know. A pinnacle of mustachedom. So it would seem. I have lived in this pretense, honing my fine hair and body into what they are today. But for what? The base approval of strangers locking eyes with that magnificent Superman in my bathroom mirror every morning? But that does sound good. Nay, it is but a sham. What right have I to... Oh wait, you're still here. Me? Ah ha ha, I thought you already left. I was merely engaging in jocosity with my friend here. Well then, if we're all done fawning over my delicious self, I'll be over here having a potion. Mysterious hunk. Writing down notes, probably. Was somebody watching us just now? I think... I think the person is like that weird bun girl that we met in the way beginning wearing awkward disguises left and right. I could be wrong though, but it does seem like it. Anyway, that's it for the hunk bump bunk bleh, the hunk bump bar. And there are no more coins to be gotten out here, I believe. Yeah, I think I've gotten them all. Oh, nope, didn't get them all. Yeah, so that was kind of a fun battle. Actually challenged, challenged me a little bit. I thought we were going to lose the first round, but you know, we turned it around in the end and whomped him. So, I guess I have no idea where we're going next. Where are we going next? Back to our house, apparently. Or we can go to the Big Chess Casino. Which I think I will do. I will figure out what's at the Big Chess Casino. And I'll do that on this episode, assuming I don't have to battle somebody for cards immediately. Well, I probably will, but impatient dealer. Hey, welcome to the Big Chess Casino. I'm your dealer around here. Want a game? Because I've got a game. Bring it and win some cash. So it looks like uh, we've got this guy who I can battle for money, unlike usual enemies which you can battle for cards, and a fish bun bouncer, which is amazing. Security, shakes head. I suppose the door leads to the card king. I need eight legendaries to go through. Well, go figure. And we've got this spaz. So let's loot the place, and uh, apparently there's not much to loot. I'm clicking, I'm clicking on pretty much everything, and barely any money is coming out. Guess we're getting some now. Is that somebody in the back just robbing the place and walking out with a money bag? Kind of looks like it. Well, can I click on turnip face there? Nope. Okay, I've robbed it for what it is. So, on the next episode, I'm going to uh, kick this guy's butt for some money, and we'll see what cards he has. Then we'll go home and figure out what's at home. Anyway, as usual, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Card City Nights.